All right, so this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well Virgo Rising weekly love and relationship tarot reading for a December 30th to uh, January 5th, 2019. And in case you want to get in touch with me, guys, uh, to schedule a uh, personal reading, you can check the description down below where you're going to find a link to my website. So that being said, moving on to the spread directly, we do have the first card, which represents the very topic of your love and relationship week. That is going to be the Eight of Pentacles, followed by the next one, which it is the energies that feeds up the situation here. We do have the hangman. Then the third one is going to be the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week in terms of love and relationship. That is to be the Eight of Swords. Followed by the fourth one, which represents the blessings that uh, you get to enjoy for, throughout the week in terms of love and relationship. That is going to be the Eight of Wands. Then we do have the fifth card here, which stands as how other people see you, how your uh, person of interest sees you, how your partner sees you, and so on and so forth. We do have the Temperance card. The uh, sixth card shows what you can do in order to help your long-term love and relationship go, and that is the Five of Swords. The seventh one, it is what can hurt your long-term love and relationship go. We do have the King of Swords. And the final one, it is the guidance that Taro is offering, that is to be the Tree of uh, Pentacles. All right, so let's focus on the first couple of cards first and foremost. So it looks like that this is to be a week where you are finally going to step out into the world, if you will, showing what good match or good potential you are to the person you are with or to your person of interest. Or in general, you know, if you don't have anybody around you, then this is the week where you are going to start attracting people around. That is for the energies that are feeding the situation. It means that people are going to see you in a very different way than up until now. I mean, there is going to be a change of perspective from those that you haven't made an impression up until now, right? But now you are start making an impression. That being said, this is a good week where you generally catch an eye and it's kind of like you boost your presence. I don't know how to say it, but it, it's something like this, you know, in a places that nobody counted you for anything. Well, that is going to change throughout this week, December 30th to January 5th, 2019. That is because now you will start turning your eye toward the details into one's conversation towards yourself as well. Probably you are going to um, start dressing better, putting a more accurate makeup and etc. etc. It's just, you know, you're going to um, identify what is obstructing you up until now, you know, to be the best and to make the best out of what you can into your love and relationship life. And you're going to start doing it. Additionally to that, um, for those who have a long term interaction, uh, the, the time finally came to cash in on it. What I mean it is to make some, something happen out of it. Hopefully that is relationship, but the very least is going to be deepening into one's interactions and communications as well. So the next card here, it is what is going to uh, obstruct you or what are the challenges? And that is the Eight of Swords. Now, in terms of love and relationship, Eight of Swords represents um, those kind of like misunderstandings that two people have. A small trifling misunderstandings, but uh, yet these misunderstandings are um, causing disruption into one's interactions or into one's relationship. So uh, the way to overcome those misunderstandings is through uh, elaborative speech. What I mean is that you have to explain yourself like you are trying to um, make a point in front of a, a, a three years old or a, a kid in third grade. So explain everything to the finest detail. 
Do not presume that people know where you're coming from. And one more thing here with this card, Virgo, it is that you, for one or another reason, are denying some sort of a truth. Okay, that is very common with the Eight of Swords. Because the Eight of Swords says that if the truth makes you free, then what the denial of it makes you, okay? So maybe you, um, just the first thing that comes to my mind is that you have feelings for someone, but you're trying to deny those feelings toward that people or uh, toward that person. Or you see that someone has feelings toward you, but you're trying to deny that fact, okay? So you have to accept the truth for your um, love and relationship a situation and status in general. So the next card here, it is the gifts and the blessings and we do have the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands gives you a couple of gifts and blessings. The first gift and the blessing, which is the best one, I think, um, according that it is a, as a property of this card, it is the gift and the blessing of uh, sorting things out in general through a flexible and agile mind. Okay, so it's not like you're going to have an yielding opinion uh, or an unyielding standpoint anymore, but you, I, your person of interest or your partner will try, you know, to find a common ground one or another way. The other gift and blessing here, it is dynamic. That is the best gift and the blessing for those who are single, meaning that there are to be big flow of people around you. And as now you are with a new look or new presence, if you will, that is giving you or boosting, skyrocketing, soaring your chances to attract many around from which you get to pick and choose whom you want to be with, whom to start interactions with. The other card here represents how others sees you. We do have the temperance and what is this is one of the best cards into this position. I mean, people were seeing you as a different person and different individual than themselves. And therefore, people were seeing you as a, someone who has something to offer. Additionally to that, people were seeing you as a someone who is not afraid to try and a someone who, uh, regardless of how difficult the disagreements are or how big, excuse me, the disagreements are and how difficult the situation is. People were seeing you as a person of compassion and solidarity, a person who will always try to find a way through and only if every, you know, option is exhausted, then wavering, okay? So people, um, that being said, people are gonna see you as someone who does not give up that easily. So the next card here, it is what you can do in order to help your long-term love and relationship goal. We do have the Five of Swords. So a couple of things. Uh, first of all, uh, Five of Swords urges you to understand your limits and do not surpass your limits. It's kind of like, it's difficult to be said. Let's say about me, I have my limits, right? I can't fantasize that I will be, you know, in a relationship or married for some sort of a celebrity that lives in, I don't know, maybe Los Angeles or something like this. I mean, you have to be objective. This is what the card points. You need to kind of like identify how far you can go or whom you can be with having harmonious relationship. Okay, instead of being with someone that you want right now, knowing that this relationship is not going to be harmonious whatsoever. You know, I had that client that um, wants to be with a specific individual just for its money. Okay, uh, my client knows that this relationship is not going to be harmonious, but nonetheless, you know, it's because of the money. So this is about the limits. I mean, you, you can't surpass those limits because otherwise the victory nonetheless that you're going to have, I mean, the relationship creation is going to be rather bitter victory than the sweet one. So the next one, it is what is going to hurt your long-term goal. And that is a person around you who appears to be some sort of a counselor of yours. It could be a good friend of yours, colleague, you know, it could be as well your father or your mother, someone whom you are listening to. And that person is trying to push you exactly into that direction that a relationship has nothing to do with love, but it is more like a mutual contract. Listening to this one, it is what is going to um, hurt 
your long-term love and relationship goal and it's kind of understandable you know because long-term love and relationship goal it's family and children or at least you know this is how i'm taking it so or having a harmonious family and children and relationship deprived from love doesn't give you exactly that is it so yeah, that individual is trying to uh, convince you that uh, one family or one relationship is founded on a, a mutual agreement, you know, and rules and regulations rather than a emotional overflow in between you two. And the final card here, it is about the guidance that Saro is offering and that is the Tree of Pentacles and it's tightly related to the challenges of this reading. The Tree of Pentacles urges you to talk, urges you to ask. If you don't ask about something, the answer always is gonna be no. If you don't like something, talk about it. People do not read minds, all right? If you do like something, then ask about it as well and it shall be given to you. It's all about a keeping the verbal communication in between you and your person of interest, in between you and your partner. When you do need help, ask about it, all right? When you uh, want to hear other people's opinion about you, ask about it and so on and so forth. And above everything else, guys, stray for cooperation. Important thing here with the Tree of Pentacles. Aim to do as much endeavors and activities as you can with your person of interest or uh, with your partner that is throughout this week. Spending time in the New Year Eve, it's a great way of doing it. So, so yeah, that being said, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, if you do want to get in touch with me, um, you're going to find the link to my website uh, listed down in the description down below. And that being said, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.